So let's start implementing the interfaces and the first one I'm going to add to the models is a class that will implement the category repository. So I'll call this one category repository. This one is not an interface, this one will implement the interface. So this one is not named with the I at the beginning. So this is just a class that will implement the I category repository. So let's make it so. And of course it's complaining now because we need to implement the methods or the property that we have in the I category repository. And here we have just a single property that will return all the categories and we can return it as a list. Now we don't work with the database yet, so I will simply hard code the list here. So instead of throwing the exception, I'm going to create a new list of type category. And I'm going to add few categories here. Let's say three categories. So the first one is going to be a new category. And let's add properties for this. So the first one is the category ID property. And this one can be one. The next one is the category name. And this one can be hard candy. Next is the description. So the category description. And this one can simply say something like awesome and delicious hard candy. So that's our first category in this list. Now let's add another. So another new category. And let's add few properties again. So the first one is the category ID. And this one will be two. And we have the category name. This one can be chocolate candy. Then we have the description. This one can say scrumptious chocolate candy. And finally, we'll add another category with the ID of three. The category name can be fruit candy. Then we have the description, sweet and sour fruit candy. Now you may notice that we have actually another property here called candies, and this is the list of all candy, but this is not directly related to the category. This is a relational property that will simply link each of the categories with the list of all candies that belong to these categories. Over here, we simply want to instantiate the category with the direct properties that the category needs. So we have three categories and we will return it in form of a list from this property. So let's create the candy repository next. 